Hi, I'm Mary Flower, and um, I'm coming to you from the cozy little town of Portland, Oregon, here. And um, thanks to Acoustic Guitar for having me. I've got a little song for you in the Delta Blues style. I call this the West Delta Blues. <clears throat> it's in the key of E. And um, it's fairly simple all the way through. Uh, we don't really play a whole lot of chords in this. We're going to play single notes as... Uh, bass notes as opposed to the entire chord. So let's take a look at what has to happen here. There are two measures which repeat themselves, uh, I believe, three or four times in this song. So once you can get this down, you've got pretty much the whole song. So let's talk about the importance of the bass, what we call the monotonic bass or the dead thumb. And the idea is that the bass plays all four beats of each measure. And the heel of the hand is what kind of mutes behind it. If I were exaggerating, I would go like this, but my hand is so close to the string that it barely moves. So I'm getting that as opposed to this ringing. I'll have that, what they call the dead thumb. So it's gonna start with a pinch between the third string and our open bass note. Second finger, third fret, third string. A little slide from three to four. That's our first pinch. Then I'm going to drop in my index finger so it sounds like. And then I'll another bass note and another slide. Let's do that again. So here's the first slide. Another slide. Come back to the third string. Take that second finger down to the second fret. Do a pull off. I hit the right strings here. Let me do that again. Pull off. And a trill that lasts for four beats. It's not going to last that long, but here we go. Here's the whole thing. Meanwhile, you're tapping your foot to go with your, with your thumb. One more time. Those are our first two measures of the song, uh, actually our first four measures of the song. Then we go to the four chord, which is the A, only I'm not really going to play a chord. I'm going to play the open fifth string for the bass note. I'm going to come up here, third finger, third fret, first string, and do a slight bend. And it's real easy to overbend and get the wrong, uh, the wrong sound. So here's what we're going to have. Each time I hit that third fret, I'll do the bend. So here's the bass. One, and. We've got eighth notes. One, and two, and uh, three, and four. We've got two measures of that. So remember, second finger and third finger. to our slide, E7, 2, coming up on the B now, and instead of playing a full B7, I'm going to just have my finger down on that 5th string 2nd fret, that's our B uh, root note, and I'll be playing as the melody on the 2nd string, 3rd fret, and a little bit of a bend there. A uh, little syncopation here, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and I'm going to kind of walk myself back down to the E. And that's the whole song, which I will play through. I do want to say that if you don't know this chord, a D7 raised up two half steps or a whole step becomes an E7. This is your consummate blues in E chord because you've got your open bass string. And this is a great place to do turnarounds and leads and all kinds of things. So uh, this should be familiar to you, only we're just doing two fingers of that chord for right now. So here's the whole piece. 
And it's nice and slow because that is the way Delta Blues is. Three, four. Again. Coming up on the A right here, A. B, two measures. That makes a nice little solo in the key of E, or, uh, or just played instrumentally is a nice little uh, um, piece. So uh, one thing you might want to do is on the four chord, just reach over and kind of do a little bit of bend on that G note, put that between your two A measures. And that just adds a nice little uh, piece of bass in there. And then the other thing you might want to do is, after the B chord toward the end, is go to the A for a measure. Use the same treble, but use uh, your A string for a measure. So that might change it up a little bit. And uh, you could use this in any Delta Blues that you already know and need a little solo for. But remember, the main thing is to get that little slide, that E, uh, happening because you're going to be doing it so many times uh, in the song. So hope you have a good time with this. And um, once again, I'm Mary Flower. And thanks to Acoustic Guitar Magazine for uh, years of inspiration and wonderful articles. And it's uh, great to be on board. Thanks for tuning in.